slide we're showing here is just letting you know how you're feeling what exactly happens in the business. Usually when the production team requests the materials, and then we turn it into work in process, into indirect manufacturing overhead costs category. We have materials for position forms to fill out. So usually nowadays, oftentimes it's online. Basically this captures the materials, what category the material is, just the quantity of materials and the cost of the materials all together. Okay, so this is just specifically for job order number 16, what is the material we use for this order? So production team requests the materials, purchasing permit, sends over the materials to start production line, and this is the cost of the direct materials. Just an example, a portion of the direct materials. Now this direct materials information later on factors in this job order record. So this is the job order that earlier I talked about, requested by Macy's company, 10 orders of DVD sets. Direct materials for this is $140. This is the first part that we completed. Okay, second part, manufacturing also direct labor cost. And then comes manufacturing overhead cost. And add these together, we can figure out the total job cost in order to help set the retail price per job. Okay, are you ready for example? Are there any questions for that? Now we're just talking about direct materials. Okay, so you know how to purchase the materials. We would debit materials inventory credit accounts payable. And we are start, when we're starting the production line, we transfer direct materials into work in process, indirect ones into manufacturing overhead, because it's an indirect category. 